I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to first identify the strength of your dealt hand and then make decisions through the Charleston to optimize your potential to win. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a flower northeast green dragon. One, two, four in dots, two, three, six in bams with a pair of twos, three, five, six in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd build around the twos. I would keep the flower because I rarely pa pass flowers. So with the remaining tiles, I think I would keep consecutive tiles around the two. So either one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. I probably wouldn't keep the sixes because we have no eights for two, four, six, eight. So this is probably what I would focus on, again, building around the twos. For passing, I'd probably pass the north green and the six crack for offsuit dragon. And then we'll see if we get any eights because we could potentially do a two, four, six, eight hand, but probably not even in mixed suits, for example, because here we have a two and then a six, but no four or eight. So I think consecutive run is going to be the way to go here. So let's pass these three. We did get an eight. But really where these are falling, two, four, eight, two, six, here's an east. That is a multiple. Anytime you build a new multiple, reassess. So we could either do consecutive run one, two, three, four, or two, four, six, eight. I think I would break up the east and give up one tile here. We have three, five. I think I would let this five go because we could still play one, two, three, four or even two, three, four, five. Maybe we should let the three go instead. Two, three, four, five. Maybe we should think about keeping that dragon. Two, four, six, eight, or two, three, four, five. Let's pass the one dot. Oh, we got a flower. Oh, and there's another multiple, an eight. So I would reassess, build around multiples. There is a two, four, six, eight hand where the twos and eights are different and with flowers. So I would switch from consecutive run to evens now because of this. So I would keep the two, four, and the six, and let those go there. So we have two, six, two, four, eight. There is an offsuit dragon hand, although we would have to discard these flowers. Because the offsuit dragon hand, fifth one down, 
does not use, actually it would be cracks and dots, not, not the dragon. So let's do this. Let's pass those three. Keep number tiles. Focus on the flowers and these two multiples. We picked up a two and we do, oh, there's another multiple with the south, but we've already given up the east. I think I would just break that up and focus on the number tiles. Two, eight, so I'd keep it all. Now we have to drill down. We can't keep all these tiles. You know what? Let's see, we might be able to play the pair hand, two, four, six, eight, and two suits with single four, six. I think that's what I would focus on here. Let's pass these three. We're going across. Whoops. Three flower. We're on last right. We can pass blind. I would not pass a flower. So I would pass one blind. We did get a two crack, but I think I would play this pair hand. Pair hand, ask for two in the optional cross. No keepers. And we have a potential pair hand here. We need a four bam and a six dot and then just build up the eight. Three discards. I think that's a pretty good result for the first iteration. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, right? Pull one and what you would do with these tiles. We have a joker, almost news. Red dragon, one, three, nine in dots, a two crack, one, four, six, seven in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, my first instinct is to build around three, six, nine, three, six, nine, but that's only three tiles. That's not a very good representation. I wouldn't play two, four, six, eight, because we have no eights. And one, two, three, four is weak because we've only got four tiles and they're split up with suits and we have no flowers. We do have winds and a dragon. So I think what I would do is focus on like numbers and wins and dragons. See what develops. Our like number potential right now is with ones. So I think that's where I would start here. Since we do have tiles to pass, I think I would hold 369 just to see what comes in. And we do have these tiles to pass. It's not too bad of a pass. There's just a little bit of risk with 2-4 for evens, but two suits. So I think the risk is minimal there. We got a flower. Seven, we definitely don't need. And here now we have a two. One, two, three, consecutive run. North, south, short run. This would be the third hand from the bottom. I think I would still keep like number potential and pass these three. That's a little bit risky. So maybe let go of this dragon. Focus on wins and either consecutive run or like numbers. I 
I was just thinking there is like numbers with the offsuit dragon, four tiles. Six tiles, four tiles. This is a little bit risky passing six, seven, and seven, nine. So I think I would mitigate that risk by passing a dragon. We have our first multiple with a number tile, so that's where I would focus. Two. One, two, three. Probably north and south with the short run. Let's pass these three. We did get a one, two. There's like number potential. So I would probably focus on twos or one, two, three with north and south. A little bit risky here. We got a three and a west. All right, now we need to whittle. So we have news. We have our short run with two pair. I think I would focus on either north and south or east and west. We're doing the cross pass, so we have to let something go. I would not pass a flower. So we just need to let one of these go either north and south or east and west. Or play news with like numbers and use these to pass. We have singles here. We need pairs with north and south. This would be the fourth hand down. I think I would build around the multiples though. Let one of these go. Let's let the south go. We got the two, three, nine. So I think I would just keep going. Let's see. Yeah, we have two, three. We should just keep going. East, west. East and west with a short run. We have two tiles for the optional cross. Three discards for east and west with a short run. We could Kong one of these and then need to build up. And of course, we could Pung here. Single, pair, Pung, Kong, Kong. We just need to build up. But we've got our single and pair. I think that was a great Charleston. If you would have done something differently, write pull two and what you would do with these tiles. We have a joker, a dragon, green dragon, six ma'am. We have one, four, five, six, eight in dots with a pair of ones. In cracks, we have one, two, seven with a pair of twos and a pair of sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the most of my multiples. Here we have a pair of ones, a pair of twos, and a pair of sevens. There's only one hand that can use ones and sevens in two suits, but there are lots of hands that you can use ones and twos in two suits. So I would let the sevens go and focus on little numbers, one, two, three, four. probably even let that five go. One, two, three, four, four number range around the multiples. 
and I would break up the seven and then pass one of each suit. Maybe five, six, seven. I think it's equally risky. So let's pass these three. We've got eights, another multiple. Here's six, eight. We have a north in there, six, eight. There is some two, four, six, eight there. Here's a four, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. We do have tiles we can pass right there. So let's pass these three and see what happens. We picked up a two, west five. So something has to go. I think I would let the two go probably or the four. I think two five is probably a better pass. Whoa, red dragon and a white. Oh, here's six, seven, eight. One, two, six, seven, eight. That's really not helpful. We have the dragons here. There's no hand that you can use these dragons in mixed suits like this, but there is a year hand with dragons. But we have no flowers and we need another two in there. I think what I would do here with two, four, six, eight, we have a gap, no two, no four crack. I think I would, ooh, this is gonna be risky here. I think what I would do is let the eight go with a dragon. There's a one and a red, which we just let go of. Here's a three, one, two, three, four. I would let those go probably. One, two, we could use this and play maybe one, two, one, two, dragon. So I think I would probably let the three go with the eight. We picked up a green dragon and we have tiles we can pass. One, two, one, two, we have a gap, but we can use this dragon. We picked up a flower. We could play like numbers with ones and dragons. Look at that. And we have tiles we can pass for optional. A red dragon. Oh, we ended up with all the dragons again. All right, so I think we're in between hands. One, two, one, two, dragon. That would use all the multiples. Or we could do like numbers with ones and dragons. Either way, we don't need any of those. So four discards and two potential hands building around our multiples. I think that was a pretty good Charleston. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven towards like numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight towards the gap hand. We need a two dot in there. One of the biggest differentiators in American Mahjong is the Charleston. Players have a chance to optimize their hand before picking and discarding. If you want to improve your decision making, do Charleston modeling at home. If you don't have a set, look for a link in the video description below for one I highly recommend from Gadman Village. Not sponsored. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.